All right, so the first thing you do is you go to the document app. Well, actually before that, create an invoice. Just go into invoicing, create an invoice, right? The customer, whatever payment terms, whatever, none of it matters. The unit price, whatever, change it to whatever you want. This one's already validated, so I can't change it, but just make any invoice. Then what you'll do is you'll print that invoice. So you have it here in a PDF like this on your um, on your machine. And then go to document, simply upload that invoice. Well, first off, make sure you're in the finance folder, then upload the invoice. There it is. And then you click the invoice, make sure the checkbox is clicked. Go over here and you'll see create vendor bill. And just click that. And it creates the vendor bill, just like that. So we can go back and we can, um, we'll create another invoice quick just to make sure we have it. We'll say this is for Bob Jones. It might say Nicholas Kaczynski again because um, of the company that it's being sent from, which is like, let me just see if I can uh, change that in a second. Say Bob Jones. We can have our payment terms, two months, product, test product for $5,551. Validate, print, invoice. There it is. Go to the document app, finance, upload the third invoice. There it is. Just make sure it's the one for 51. There we go. And all you do is you click create vendor bill down here. And there it is. Didn't capture the vendor. I'm not sure why I need to look into that, but they'll still be impressed nonetheless, I think. So pretty simple, creates the record, right? They can always go in and just manually add the vendor and validate the vendor bill and you know pay the vendor bill right within three seconds of receiving an invoice and it's all paperless. So that's the pitch. Um, if you need more information on how that works or you're, you're unclear, just ping me.